Kailangan kung tawagin namin sa Chaong eh, tengang baboy. <laughs> Pag tinagtabi mo ang picture ni ano kami ito, ni Romualdez kay Di Venecia, para silang separated at birth, especially yung korte ng kanilang tenga, yung green. Alam na, nakita niyo ba kumain ng baboy, mga kabansa? Nakita niyo ba kumain ng baboy? Yung parang, parang mauubusan. Uh, I'm not being personal, no? I'm making an analogy here, no? Over the nearest animal that could be picked. Pareho sila eh. Hindi ako naniniwala na hindi alam ni Bogbog Marcos ito. Sapagkat ang nagpupul po ng mga strings dito, yung uh, inatawag nating marionette ay si Babe Sumualdes mula sa Philippine Embassy sa Washington na uh, who, who pictures himself as the kingmaker. Siya so, ang gumawa nito, pati itong mga dalians natin with the, with the US now, itong mga shift in uh, power balancing. No? Bakit? Kasi crude. It follows a standard uh, in public relations. It follows a standard uh, uh, strategy, age-old strategy of pre-staging scenarios, you know, and then chronologically implementing them. Kaya, kaya nababasa ko lahat ito eh. Nababasa ko lahat ginagawa nila eh. When we visited, hindi ka, hindi ka sumama kami ito, dahil umalis ka na eh. When, when Anna and I joined the APCO delegation that visited the... Uh, nag-o-take tayo sa Congress kaya in front of GMA and after that uh, lahat kami ay nagpunta sa to relieve ourselves no sa CR and malapit sa CR yung opisina ni Martin Romualdez and we we were we were all led there malapit na eh. so okay after some talk Etcetera, etcetera. Aba, napansin ko na, ano, meron pa, may, I, I felt some grandeur, no? <laughs> grandeur of greatness was being projected. Uh, all of a sudden, andun yung asawa ni Martin, all of a sudden, andun si, si Vince Marcos, all of a sudden, andun si, itong pa, man, sino yung pangalay? Mga Marcos na anak. Sandro. Sandro. O, oh, Sandro. Oh. Kasi parang ano yan eh. Ang staging niyan, Bongbong, Martin, Sandro. <laughs> eh, ba, ano? Lutan yung mga tao. At saka they were, uh, uh, after entertain kami, they were uh, ringing in people who were uh, para bang singing hallelujahs to them. Ganun. And napansin ko na talagang takam na takam itong mga Marcos at Romualdez, no? with a few exceptions, of course, like the first lady and I, me, who are not really after grandeur, no? who are not really after uh, the accolade, who are not really after the the uh, the applause para silang takam na takam that's why I believe na tama si kitata dito I think it, it was not it was not mali doon si GMA it was not his uh, socializing outside of the country with some congressman that hit her. Kasi alam natin kami ito na as early as uh, uh, start of April, wala na rin ito si GMA and he was, uh, he was in China. If you remember, with 12 of our essay winners and they were going around China and uh, and if I were a, a CIA uh, surveillance on surveillance assignment, this would not register well with me. So it was not your trip to Korea, ma'am, Gloria, that did you in. It was your trip to Beijing. (laughs) Why? Because this is an all, I can smell an all American G.I. Joe scenario here. 
uh, sa kanila kasi, if you're not with us, you're the enemy. You're a simple, simple na Cold War mentality. No, but you were mentioning comment about certain pronouncements of the president. And you were groping for uh, uh, the, the, the proper adjective. The proper adjective is incoherence. Hindi coherent itong mga galaw ni Bongbong Marcos. He goes to China, state visit, blah, blah, blah. And then, as if to prepare his working visit to the, to the U.S., he switches and did everything that the Chinese would not expect he would do. Well, he has not only violated his election promise of continuity to the tempter's balancing of our foreign policy, he has also proven to be a traitor to his own father's vision of greatness under a new society. A new society that it was not a slogan. There is a visioning and a missioning and a complete roadmap that his father did towards that new society. And it was, kasi hindi ka ano eh, hindi ka magsusurvive, lalo na ngayon, kamento, in the 21st century, the age of consumerism, bakit ang Indonesia biglang lumal, ang lakas-lakas? Kasi ang labanan ngayon is in favor. The economic uh, advantages is to these days are in favor of those who have big populations. It's really a consumer century also. It's not only an Asian century, it's not only a Chinese-led century, it is a consumer. Bumaliktad na ho yung ano eh, yung, yung, yung Triangulo na dati na, 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 na baliktad, na kaganon, no? Mga kabansa, if I may illustrate it. Eh, kung kung tipa population nun, nung dumami yung population, kailangan ang governance, ganyan na. Hindi na pwede yung ganon, no? Ha? You can only go this way if your country's GDP per capita is big. Ha? But if your population is big, therefore your per capita needs a bigger income and a bigger, a faster exchange of goods. So it has to be like this. And the base is on the on the bigger population. The government that will survive now will have to look for the what is good uh, and make the big population. Ika nga, eh, sabi ng rhetoric si, the many who are poor, their first priority. Kasi alam niyo yung gutom. <laughs> At tatanda niyo how the child huh, of Russia was uh, uh, what uh, eventually made the Bolsheviks overturn the politics in Russia? Hunger and deprivation, poverty, widespread. The bread, it became a revolution of the bread. 